prison prompted many McAllen residents to voice their concerns at a community hearing last night. Alex Stockwell explains why this proposal has people so upset. If it's a chance to provide a facility that makes sense for McAllen, then we're going to take a look at it. But the question of whether or not the city of McAllen should build a for-profit prison was answered with a resounding no by the community at Wednesday night's public forum. I think a private prison anywhere is a problem because a prison for money is going to create a demand for prisoners, and that's why we are definitely against the private prisons. The proposal involves working with Geo Group, the second largest for-profit prison company in the country. Promises of economic development as a result of adding a private prison are enticing McAllen city officials. They say a million and a half to two million dollars a year in income to the city of McAllen. You know, that's one of the reasons we're looking at it. And so uh, we'll have to t make sure it's worthwhile. I don't want to, I don't want to get two million dollars if it's not worthwhile to the city and we have problems uh, that we don't anticipate. ACLU attorney Carl Takei knows exactly what problems McAllen can anticipate. Takei works on private prison cases across the nation and says that these prisons do more harm than good for the cities that they occupy. The economic development is actually not nearly what it's been chalked up to be. The potential risk for the reputation of the city and becoming known for having one of these horrible detention facilities run by a company like Geo Group, it's really a bad deal for the city. Reporting in McAllen, Alex Stockwell, KVEO News Center 23. City officials will decide whether or not to negotiate with GEO Group at their next meeting on the 23rd.